Oh, ho, me hearties. A very good morning to you. It's just me, Scotty McClure. And I thought I'd just do a quick pop-up and say hi to every single one of you. I hope you're well this morning. And a very big dinky-doo to everybody who's coming and joining us. Scrolling through your lives, you can stop now because this is TikTok's top talk show. It's Sunday morning. Nothing gets past me, you see. And uh, everybody is welcome. It's Crocodile McClure. Absolutely. Hello, hello, Richard. Lovely to have you with us, Richard McDonald there. And a very warm welcome to you. I'm a little bit close to you this morning, but I don't think there's very much we can do about that. <laughs> so you'll just have to put up with it just now. Absolutely. Fantastic. Hello, hello. Absolutely. Yes, a very, very warm welcome to you. Thanks so much for joining us. We popped up last Sunday about this time, and it was so popular. I thought I'll pop up again. Hi from Wisconsin. Hello, Bob. A very good morning to you. It'll be the middle of the night. What are you doing up in Wisconsin, Bob? Tell us what time it is. It's 8.30 on a Sunday morning in the United Kingdom. <laughs> Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome. Hey, man. Hey, Sam. Thank you. Good to have you with us. And welcome this Sunday morning. It's always good to see who's about, because there's probably not that many people about. AM, says Bob. Yep, I would have thought so, Bob. Are you an early riser or a late bedder? Do tell us, are you a lark or an owl? Or as they say in Scotland, a lark or a hoolet? A hoolet. I love that word for an owl. You see, it's, it's so clever, the whole thing. Wonderful language, and I like to share it with you. And why not? First thing on a Sunday morning, dinky do. Hi, hi, Joshua. Dinky do. Lovely to have you in this. Oh, says Bob Man. <laughs> so he now knows. You now know what a hoolet is, Bob. That's rather good. Blackpool on the playoffs, first leg on Tuesday at Oxford. Well done, I mean. Your hat is stupendous, Scotty. Yes, I couldn't actually find my bonnet this morning, so I thought I'll stick on my uh, jackaroo. Guten Morgen, ja, nicht Deutsch sprechen. Ich bin ein Auslander, nicht verstehen. Guten Morgen, ja. Danke schön, danke schön. Uh, now, uh, who's this? The Lucy. The Lucy, you really need to go and grow up big style. You are daft. <laughs> right, excellent stuff. We'll just block you just now, and then we'll see how you go. Wonderful stuff. Uh, watch your Scottish football team. I'm the heart of Midlothian. Now, I've heard of them. Uh, this is your story. This is your song. Follow the hearts and never go wrong. <laughs> what a top I think you do. Never give up, good man. London Live. How lovely to have you with us. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, I say. Share the videos as soon as you possibly can. Follow me when you come on. We need to get our followers. Second jab for me today. Thank you, Steve. 55. Come on, Rangers. Partly the fans were very, very, very badly behaved. Have I got that right? Can you pronounce the longest place in Denmark? Yeah, there we are. <laughs> Where is your kappa? My kappa is, is here. Here is my kappa. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Hearts, hearts, glorious hearts. Uh, the minority of them, 55. Ah, if you're mentioning the jazz, though, I have to mention the hoops, you see. Shout, Mon the hoops. Do you like my mug, Yappa? There we are. I've got another. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's known as Argyle Pottery. I don't want to spill it and have hot tea all down my knees. Jambo from Kenya. Jambo, Kenya. How lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do. Jambo, Jambo. Uh, who was that? That's uh, Chip. Chip, Jumbo Chip, always lovely to see you. Thank you for joining us. Hello from Canada. We love you in Canada. Yes, they are good at destroying the team. 
So there we go. Absolutely. Now, follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. We need a massive, massive follow fest because uh, it's Sunday morning. This is TikTok's top talk show. If you're scrolling, stop now. You don't need to scroll any further. You've arrived at your destination. Scotty McLear, just for you. Do you own a farm? <clears throat> well, I used to rent a farm. Nobody owns anything, you see. It's quite interesting. You can only curate it. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Why are you not helping Palestine? I am helping Palestine, and I'm helping Israel, so less of it. And we shout, stop throwing ordinance at each other, and stop the argy-bargy, and stop killing the children and the innocent civilians. There we are. Now then, who else have we got here? Are you in the cast of Spongebob? Your voice is like the man who introduces it. <coughs> Pardon me, I might well be. Yes, collective land, there we are, you see. Uh, follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. What's been the best day of your life, sir? I think today, today has been the best day of my life so far. Uh, you're so cool. Thank you, Elf. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky you do, because it started beautifully, because I'm talking to all you gorgeous people on TikTok. Is that not just a gift or a gift? How lovely is that? Do you like Russia? Everybody likes Russia. Privet, privet. There we go. <laughs> what do we got here? Do you like, don't know what that one is. Uh, there we go. Is this the dad from Peppa Pig? I hope you have a good day. I hope you all have a good day because you're beautiful people. We're only here for about another 20 minutes. Do you own guns in the UK? Well, I'm a crack shot, but I don't own a gun and I don't believe in shooting. So there are, I can pick up a chicken from the supermarket for about a pound. So there we go. Now then. Uh, do you love everybody? Yes, I do. Uh, there we are. How do you feel about the Irish? The Irish are outstanding people. Love every blade of grass in Ireland. Do you like South Africa? I've never been to South Africa, but I love the South African people. A lot of them come on here. I know it is a beautiful country. I know I would like a bray if I go out to South Africa, and I might retire to Cape Town. There we are. Do you want to visit the Philippines? Very much so. My sister has visited the Philippines. Fantastic. And I know lots of people from the Philippines. Dinky do, Santa who? I love your voice, says Gamer. I thank you, Gamer. You are very, very kind. So there we go. Uh, there's somebody advertising a whiskey. Well, I don't drink alcohol any longer. You're cute, bro. I thank you very much. It's my birthday, poor dinky-doo. What do you do for a living? Oh, lots of things. <coughs> lots of wonderful things. Are you in the library? I'm in the library at McClure Towers this morning. There we go, guys. That's just some of it. So there we have it. Now, um, who have we got here? Best, I think what we need to do with you. Right, beep. Beep Boop is getting dumped <coughs> for being puerile. There's Beep Boop going down the river, watching, way, woo! That's what happens to any wee trolls. Have you ever been in Kenya, Scotty? No, chap, but my greatest teacher ever was 20 years in Kenya, in Nairobi, and he told me all about it. It was fantastic. It was just different class. RB, remember we don't mention Candace. It's a firing offense on here. So bye. There's RB away. Now, God loves you. God doesn't just love me. God adores me. And we all adore God. It's fantastic. Fair exchange is no robbery. Uh, what do you think of the NHS for a big pay rise? Oh, definitely. The nurses. And uh, hi from Oklahoma. Hello, Dinky Doo. Hello from Ireland, Oklahoma, where the corn's as high as an elephant's eye, and the wind comes sweeping down the plain. <laughs> Fantastic. 
I can respect being sober. Well, no, no, I absolutely adore it. I would advise everybody, if you can give up booze, give it up because there is no value at all in it. So what about that? I checked with the doctor, said, is there any value at all? The books are moving, it says, Incho. They will be, Incho, if you've had a refreshment. Uh, I just roller skate for a living. Excellent stuff. Good. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. Hey. I love roller skating. Fantastic. Now, who have we got here? Good morning. Good morning, Skippy. <coughs> Can you say hi to Big Ben? Hi, BS Ben. Lovely to Hello from Argentina. We love you in Argentina. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Yes, indeed. My friend um, was in the army and their cook was called Tina. And he said to her one morning, he was going on exercise, so he said, don't fry for me, Sergeant Tina. <laughs> How are you getting on, Dicky Do? Where are you from? T Rev, we're from Scotland in the United Kingdom for now. <laughs> Pro tem, I say, but Brexit may well have broken up the UK. There we go. What's your favourite food? All of it. Uh, now, do follow us, guys, when you're coming on. Where are you from, good sir? I'm from Scotland. Hello from Brazil. We love you in Brazil. Some of your books just fell off the shelf. Of course they did. They have a life of their own. Some of them are talking books. Uh, how many books do you have? Ooh, 5,000? Something like that. As a Scottish Lord, are you a Presbyterian? Do you mean did my family protest from, uh, from Catholicism? Well, you see, I think everyone is Catholic. That's what I would say. But uh, the Presbyterians break away. So that sort of idea. Uh, now, good morning, sir, from Dublin in Ireland. Fit like Scotty. Ah, uh, fit like yourself with your dues. Up in the northeast in Aberdeen. We love that. Ireland person. Hi, dinky do. Hi from San Francisco in California. We love you, California. California, here I come, right back where I started from. Scotty, I only drink once a month, but the value for me is the flavor of the whiskey. Off, I do understand that, because I have thoroughly enjoyed many a good whiskey in the past. There we are. What do we got here? Oh, you got me. I got you there, come on. Uh, where did you get your hat? Where did you get that hat? Uh, my sister brought it back from Australia. It's a genuine jackaroo. So there we go. I think it's got the genuine jackaroo bit at the back. See? See what I just did there? Jackaroo. Genuine jackaroo. There it is there, guys. Yeah, what about that? So there we are. Let me do it so you can see it properly. Hang on. <clears throat> I'm going to prove it to you. I always prove it to pens. Can we see that there? Let's see. Can you all see that genuine jackaroo? Yep. Yep. It's all there for you, see? I'll put that on. <laughs> Do a commercial. <laughs> follow us, guys, as soon as you come on, please. We're very short on followers. We're very, very big on viewers. There's a TikTok videos for you. Please go and love every one of them because they're all made with love for you. Have you ever gone to the to Clonarf Castle? Uh, yes, I have. So there we are. And also, I've gone to um, Blarney Castle and kissed the Blarney Stone. Isn't that amazing? Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. Have you ever seen Hogan's Heroes? Best show. Yep, absolutely. Hello from Canada. From Canada. From Canada and Ontario. Huron, Erie, Ontario, and Michigan. <coughs> I wish you were still in the radio here in the Northeast. Do you know, Dario, when I was in the Northeast, I never had so much fun, and neither did the audience. They were just huge. And I went in one day, and somebody said, uh, we've had 450 complaints today about last night's show, because it was just so funny. 
Some people weren't able to take it. And I heard this guy, and he's on the phone, and it was the funniest thing. And he was going, <clears throat> I'd like to complain. The guy can't hold a debate. He has no knowledge. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> It was just funny. My brother-in-law's from Cumbernauld. Uh, have you ever seen Hogan's Heroes? Yes, I used to watch it. I loved it. Yes, indeed, John. Hi from the USA, from Connecticut. My first fridge was from Connecticut in the USA. It was a beautiful thing. It was from the 1930s. And it was really, really advanced as Connecticut, the home of the electronics industry, full of brilliant people. Do tell me. I'm, I'm trying to remember the, the make. Follow us, Scotty. Follow us. I mean, Scotty. Good morning, sir, from Dublin. Good morning, Dublin. Lovely to have you with us. I know every blade of grass in Ireland. Now, who else have we got? We're blessed. Yes, we're blessed. You're looking really good. Can you tell good stories? I can tell you a million stories and not even scratch the surface. Where's the bonnet? I couldn't find it this morning. What's up from Arizona? We love you in Arizona. Myrtle Beach here. Good morning. Good morning, Carolyn. I miss Ireland. Everybody misses Ireland. We're actually all from Ireland. Well, no, sorry. We're all Africans from the African Rift Valley. <coughs> Follow us, guys. Morning. Morning, Marco. What's your plans for the day, sir? Very, very, very busy day. A day of domestication. We're, uh, we're tidying the studio today. <laughs> now, that might not seem like much, but trust me. <laughs> From Antarctica, we love it, yes. <laughs> Russia, China, Japan, the Arctic, the Antarctic. OMG, I love them so much. That's so kind of you. Thank you, Jay. Uh, have you ever? Yes, we've done that one, Bob. <laughs> Fantastic. I miss running through the Midland Hills. Yes, indeed. Quick shout out for my home. Thank you. Ever been in the East End of Glasgow? Many, 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 many a time. Duke Street. <laughs> I know Duke Street. I opened the Forge Market in Glasgow 25 years ago. Fantastic. Do you know the Forge? From South Africa. Lovely to have you with us, South Africa. Scotty, to do justice to the hat, you need an Australian accent. Okay, damn it. Do you want me to take the next bit of the whole program in an Australian accent? I don't know, from down under Fair Dinkum. So there we go. Free Palestine, yes, and free, free Israel as well. The two of them need to get round the table, guys. Don't support one side or the other. Support them both because they're two beautiful countries filled with beautiful people who can't get their act together. They're at the RJ Bargy. And people are dying, innocent, young people. Tell us a secret, sir. I will indeed. <clears throat> but you need to keep this to yourself, right? Because not many people know this. But I'll tell you if you keep it to yourself. There's... I'll tell I'll tell you later when it's just us. Aye, it's true. It's too, it's too risky, too risky. Somebody's ears flapping, you know what I mean? There we are. Right, Joseph, Joseph, dinky-doo. Uh, I want to move to Dublin and Ireland. Well, everybody does. It's just the house prices are so high. Hello from Texas in the USA. We love you, Texas, you beautiful people. Thank you for providing the world with oil. There we go. I think of you every day. It's 12.46 a.m. at night for me. Where are you, cheese? So there we are. Do tell Australia. Yes, Australia. That's I've got my hair on. So you know it's me. <laughs> hey. From Malaysia, did you do? See a lucky leprechaun. Every leprechaun's lucky. They've got the pot of gold. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Did you do? Have you ever been to Malaysia? No, but I would love to go. You're beautiful people. Fantastic stuff. 
Hello from Japan. Japan. Lovely to have you with us. Where would you say is the best place anywhere in the world? But um, I wouldn't be dashing to the borders of uh, Gaza and Israel at the moment. So there you go. I wouldn't be dashing off to Tel Aviv. Hello from Blair Gowrie. We love you in Blair Gowrie and Rattray. Oh, it'll be fresh the day. Fresh, okay. There we are. I might take a wee run into Dunkirk later. Uh, hello from South Africa. Uh, you look like a Mr. Clyde. I am Mr. Clyde. Where would you recommend to visit in Scotland? All of it. Outstanding place. Who's this here? Hi from North Sentinel Island. Guys, this is just worldwide. It's amazing. I'm from Scotland here, Jason Dickidoo. Have you ever been to the Bonacourt Club in Shots? I earned my equity card singing in minors clubs 42 years ago. And we used to go out and uh, meet everybody in the clubs in places like Shorts and Wishaw and all that. And they all spoke like that because they'd been down the mine all their life. It was lovely. They're lovely, lovely, lovely people. We love Shorts. I've been to the Shorts Highland Games. <laughs> but I'll maybe pop in and see you all. Palestine and Israel is a conflict between brothers that go all the way back to Abraham. My father used to say this. My father was one of the wisest men I've ever met. Probably the wisest, actually. And I've met a lot of very, very wise people. And uh, my father was, uh, you know, he was as wise as the Magi. And... Um, he said, there's been no peace in that land. This was 1968, he said this, at the Israeli-Arab War. And he said, there's been no peace in that land for 2,000 years, as he puffed on his pipe. There we go. And here we are, how many years later? 52 years after my father said that. So uh, that's it. And of course, uh, our old friend, Lieutenant Colonel Colin Mitchell, of the Argyll and Sutherland Highlanders, he was injured in the bomb in the King David Hotel in 1948, 46, 48. When was the King David Hotel bomb? And I say to you, stop it, the whole lot of you. Just stop. Or McClure will come out there, discuss it all with you, and if you can't get your act together, then we'll phone Uncle Joe. He'll put a stop to it, I'll tell you. There we go. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Wonderful. Uh, I agree with you. They are a part of the 12 tribes of Israel. People are still fighting. Well, think how upset Abraham would be to see that fighting. Think how upset Jesus would be, a man of peace and a Palestinian. For man was born in Palestine and lives today in bread and wine. And until Jesus started his own uh, religion, he was a Jew. He was the king of the Jews. A Yesu Nazarene, Rex, yes. So there we are, I-N-R-I. -I. So there we go. You know your Irish history? Well, oh, I know my Irish history. Yes, I make it my part. Long before there was any internet, I had to learn it and learn it, learn about everything. The Troubles, Patrick Pierce, the Republican Brotherhood, O'Connell, I go back to O'Connell, to Yeats, all these things, yes. Oh yes, my goodness, the, the Phoenix Park murders, Sir Edward Carson. Oh, I go back, the, the history of the Orange Lodge, the, king, the, the Prime Minister and the King using the Orange Lodge to divide and rule Ireland. Yeah, and it's still going on. They're still being watched from the back. Do you have a phobia of any kind? Yes, I, I, I worry about people asking me about phobias. Stop. Um, no, um, I, um, I don't have any phobias at all. Well, I did. I had a phobia of, um, I was obsessed with the hokey cookie. And um, I went to the doctor's. And he said, yes, yes, I'll admit you to a clinic. So I put my whole self in, 
And then a week later, I took my whole self out and I've turned myself around. And that's what it's all about. There we are, you see. You ever heard of King Otha, Rex? Yes, of course, I have. Absolutely, the old Irish kings. The Irish are very big on monarchy. The guy that started Sinn Féin was Arthur Griffiths. He was a massive monarchist, yes? Um, he wasn't a big fan of, uh, of the British crown. See, Bonnie, Prince Charlie, the Americans are huge monarchists. They actually only became Republican because Prince Charles Edward Stuart of Scotland, yes, King James's son, um, turned down the throne of America after independence. Now, how's that for a fact? You get your head drained, that one, guys. There we are, dinky-doo. Uh, wonderful. Now, who have we got here? Are you a leprechaun? I am indeed, sir. Yes, this is me standing up. <laughs> the only way the British Army can be given a clean street is to vacate Northern Ireland. No, Emerald, newsflash, the British Army, very kindly and at great risk to themselves, came in to Ireland, to Northern Ireland, in 1969 to protect you guys, to look after you. And this is the way you say thank you. Tut, tut, tutity tut. Think on it, you know what I mean? You need to stop the atrocities. You're saying stop the atrocities. The atrocities need to stop. There should be no atrocities, you know? Lord Mountbatten could still be around at uh, 121. There you are. Fantastic. Right, that's that. Now, um, roast potatoes or French fries. I think we'll have a few of both on the plate, and I can make my mind up then. And maybe a wee bit of uh, brown sauce and tomato sauce. The UK persecuted Ivory. No, 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 no. The UK did not persecute Ireland for years. Don't start, right? Lord Fitzwilliam was sent back in the 1500s for being too pro-Catholic. There you are. The Battle of the Boyne. King James was very nearly on the throne. Yes. Queen Anne was parachuted in. King William was a baddie. That sort of stuff. The Scots, the Welsh, they have never persecuted Ireland. So we'll have less of it, please. There we are. And uh, we've had some excellent governments. I mean, Lloyd George, fabulous British Prime Minister, you know. Obviously, I wasn't too chuffed with the old black and tans being sent in. What do you think of the USA occupying Kosovo? Well, why did they have to do it? You see, some countries set themselves up. As the world's policeman, Emerald says, you only believe what you want, not what's painful. No, no, Emerald, I know what's painful. I went to a meeting, a, a naval meeting, the day Lord Mountbatten was murdered. That split the movement right down the middle. Anyway, we'll not go in there on a Sunday morning. You should become a teacher. Now, there's an idea, absolutely. I'm having 11 pints, and he mentions a top stout later today. As my driving is not good enough to twirl. Fussy, not funny. Yes, not funny. No, no, too dangerous, too dangerous. Does Ireland recognize Palestine? Ah, that's interesting. How about Cromwell? He was a nice chap. Cromwell was just danger. If Cromwell was around now, McClue would show him the red card. Worst thing ever that happened to Britain was, apart from the First World War, was the Civil War caused by trying to bring down the monarchy. Tut, tut, tutity, tut. You know, and the cowards and the middens that did that. If you go to St. James's, <clears throat> if you go to Horse Guards, you'll see a black mark on the clock at two o'clock when the cowards killed our king. A Scotsman. Yes, absolutely. Charles Stewart. Uh, BMW or Audi, well, both first-class cars, absolutely. Although I tend to go for British cars, 
I have to say, I've got to be honest, these are better than other TikToks. Ireland, you be honest because you're honest people. You're lovely, lovely, lovely people. And uh, we might as well have some straight talking. You know, just because somebody's on a fun thing, and I wanted this was started because it's fun, it's lighthearted, uh, the news was so depressing, so serious, and we mustn't go down the road of doing negative stuff. Do you see what I mean? Because people turn to Scotty McClue for a wee smile, a wee laugh, a little bit of interest, and something about them. And this is all about you guys. That's that's the stuff. I mean, I've been I've been broadcasting on television, radio, writing in the newspapers for thirty six years. So you know, I I just like popping up and talking to beautiful people. And TikTok has got the beautiful people. So look at every single one of my videos and get at least a laugh, a smile, a smirk, something like that. Do you know what I mean? Hi, everybody. Thank you, know. What do you think about the Rangers fans? I could see it coming, Callum. I'm appalled by the behavior. What we should say, they should organize themselves and say, now, anybody going out to celebrate, no alcohol allowed, no drugs, social distancing, masks on, taps on, yes? And um, what about maybe not bringing a union flag, just bring a saltire, because we're Scots, Rangers are a Scottish team, you see? So the saltire. I'm getting a dog today. I love it, Liam. What are you getting breed-wise? Is any war civil? Brilliant fuzzy. No war is ever civil. And there should never be a civil war. And that's why we had to send the army into Ireland, because they were fighting each other. They were eating themselves. Yes, indeed. What's just dogs? But guys, what does a row of these wee things mean? I'll, I'll get rid of it anyway, just in case it's dodgy. Uh, we weren't too chuffed. Maybe they were uh, protecting the Catholics. Well, they were protecting everybody from violence. Do you see what I mean? You need to use a heavy hand, a big stick sometimes, if people are being violent to each other, you know? And remember, the uh, the military know exactly what they're doing, but they get ordered in by the politicians. So never, ever think badly of the military. They are doing a job. So uh, that's the stuff. Was Braveheart based on William Wallace? He had a woeful end, if I'm thinking of the right man. William Wallace had a terrible end. They hanged him. They drew him. They quartered him. They cut his head off and put it on a spike. And the last thing he said was, okay, I get that you're upset. Nice hat. Thank you very much. Morning, McClure. How are you today? Stuarty. We're outstanding today. It's lovely to be with everybody. And a very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClure Live on TikTok just for you. The briefings are better. <laughs> or oh, the brightling. Oh, the yes, indeed. Good morning from Bowmore in Isla. Good morning, Ali. Kamraha u hakama maha. Lovely to have you with us. And Falchi Falchi. Ki Demili Falchi. Don TikTok. Agus. Scotchach Makluach. Yes, indeed. We'll never see eye to eye. Well, there's no British colonization now. Emerald. It's gone. So you have nothing to see eye to eye on. All you need to do is enjoy your freedom, live your life, and love your Ireland. That's what we all do. So drop all this British colonization. Britain is only a land mass. Yes? Absolutely. You know, so, so that's it. And if you ever want, I mean, you need to talk to the Taoiseach, you need to talk to the Doyle, but if you want to pick up the tab for the North, if you ever did want to get back together, or even a couple of counties, because I think Ulster's got, is it eight or nine counties are covered by Ulster, not six, you see? So there's no colonization there. I mean, the Scots are just about to leave, 
you know, they're, they're about to leave, I would imagine. And that will be the end of that. It has to be fun, absolutely. Too much depressing news out there. What do you think of the Rangers fans? All I can say is I was shocked, but not surprised. What about that? Well, I'm not Irish, lad. I really want to move there. I'm fascinated by the Irish and the Emerald Isle. Well, of course, they're beautiful people. Are we and see it? It's gorgeous. There we are. I might just go and live there. Great TikTok, dinky do. Uh, please ban. He was hacking the chat. I will, Sean. We'll look out for him. I am an American in California. California takes some beating, though. Let's be honest. It's a beautiful place. I haven't been, but I see it on our television in the UK. Thanks for the wisdom. We'll always give you wisdom on here, Dust. Nice hat, man. Can everybody follow us as soon as you come on? Very, very important. I'm 100% Irish. Fuzzy, you might find you're not. It makes me laugh. People go, I'm 100% Irish. If you spat in a wee cup and had it examined, you might find there's a bit of Indian, a bit of African, a bit of Scot, a bit of English, a bit of Welsh, a bit of Argentinian, a bit of a Brazilian, a bit of German. You'd be amazed. So nobody's 100% anything. We're all actually 100% African from the Rift Valley. And we've got a lot of Irish in us because we came via Ireland. Isn't that interesting? Did you move around much as a child? Uh, not at all. Not at all. Uh, when I was a child, we had two houses. One my parents had been in for 10 years, their first house, and the next one for 36 years. But I've moved around a lot as an adult and worked all over the UK. You speak very well. Much respect to me. User, bless you. User Steve, lovely to have you with us, and thank you. What football team do you support? Oh, I don't support any financially, but I support loads, loads and loads and loads. Too long, too long a list. What's your perspective on karma? William, I have seen karma in action. Yes, karma. And I've only met one very, very, very bad man who took money off me in a, a business deal. One bad man. And he was a baddie, right enough, a real baddie. <laughs> he went off with the lot. But having said that, the karma is incredible. I've watched it happen. I've actually watched it happen. And I've thought, wow. That's amazing. Interesting. Up the Celtic. Yes, indeed. And, uh, and up the Jars as well. That's it. You've got to balance all these things. What's better, a potato or a duck? Uh, at swimming, I would say a duck. The last time I saw a potato in water, it sank. You know, so I would, I would go for the duck. Glasgow will always be free. Not for parking. There we are. Share, guys, as soon as you can. What a great way to start a Sunday morning. Thank you. Not at all, Skippy. Lovely to have you with us in Dinky-Doo. There's the beautiful Ellie Louise has sent me a red rose. Glasgow is green. Well, a fifth of it is green. That's the part land. <coughs> and the sky is blue. And uh, what else have we got? And the rain is wet. So Glasgow is green, blue, wet. Yes, that sort of stuff. Um, absolutely, if you can hold anyone to account, the government over military action, of course, never, ever, ever blame soldiers. These are just young, fit men getting on with their job. You know, and the qualification in the army is peacekeeping. Yes. What do you think of the Rangers actually yesterday? I was shocked, but not surprised. There we are. Did he die from his injuries? Who was that fuzzy? Which one? Oh, um, William Wallace. Yes, yes, I think in the end they got him. They got him, poor man. Uh, tell the story of Stinking Billy. Well, Stinking Billy was the king's brother. Stinking Billy was the Duke of Cumberland, which was an old royal title. <laughs> 
And Stinking Billy was the one that came up and fought the Jacobites at Culloden. And George Frederick Handel, a man who I'm a huge fan of, a German, wrote um, his Judas Maccabeus, Hail the Conquering Hero, for Stinking Billy's return to Edinburgh. And the Edinburgh people built a triumphal arch, which you can still see, into the new town for Stinking Billy. Uh, so it's uh, there's been a wee bit of an embarrassment there, I have to say. Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. Is it an Akupra hat? It's a jackaroo, a genuine jackaroo. Can you see it there? Jackaroo, guys. There were a great advert for Australian hats this morning. Fair dinkum. Scott the No got a clue. Now, Paul. Only a half-wit would ever say that about Scotty McClue. I have two degrees. I have an IQ of 164. I have studied international affairs, economics, leadership, the monarchy, history of the world, international affairs for 50 years of proper research, and uh, 30 of these years were before the Internet when you had to really get your information. I would love to spend uh, a number of years in the old library at Trinity College Dublin, just working in that environment, fantastic. But to say, Scotty, not got a clue, Paul, what does that say about you? Yes, there we are, my dear fellow. Greetings from Mayo in Ireland. We love you in County Mayo, and top of the morning to the lot of you. There we are. Now, Here's Canuel. Now, Canuel is very puerile and might have an IQ of one, so we'll block him. And off goes Canuel down the swanny. Trolls are toast. Mr. Kipling, thank you for these lovely, lovely TikToks. Are you a granddad? No, Lily. I'm far too young to be a granddad. There we are. So that's that. So good morning to you, Canuel, and bye. There we are. Do you know any Welsh? Well, I say to you, Yakida. And if you were on here at night, they would say Nosta. So there we are. And uh, uh, what is it? O Amaros. O Amaros. Yes, absolutely. For uh, guide me, O thou great Jehovah. Uh, I'm a Campbell. Well, well done. I, I've met many a good Campbell. I've even got some in my family, but they were certainly very, very, very unpopular in Glencoe in the 1690s onwards. Thank you, Care Limit, for sending me a beautiful golden trophy. So there we are. Very, very much appreciated. Did you ever travel from Fort William to Malig? The landscape is breathtaking. Taking. That's one I will do, William. Are we talking the Glenfinnan viaduct? Do we take that in? So there we are. I mean, all of Scotland is breathtaking. There's somebody, there's a guy called Paul saying, vote Labour. Oh, well, my goodness. The only thing is one would add to that, Paul, is why? Because you see, Labour in Scotland betrayed their roots in 2014. They should have supported independence, and perhaps their leader would have been the first minister to today, but then would have missed out on our fabulous first minister. There we are. She arose from the age of Maine. Yes, indeed, London. And what happened next? There we are. Hello, Maha. Thank you, Joseph. Kamraha. Ooh. There we are. The Doyle, yes, you need to get into the Doyle and say to them, the, the Doyle and say to the Doyle, right, do you want to pick up the tab? Does Ireland have its own tanks or army? Well, I don't know what equipment the Irish army have, but they've certainly got their own army, and that's a proper army, the Irish army. Lovely people and uh, very, very smart. I saw them on parade at the Queen's visit and the Irish national anthem. Beautiful stuff. So there we are. We love Ireland. We love the Irish people. Absolutely. Uh, now, no surrender, Scotty. Well, Paul, uh, we've just surrendered to a handful of Hoorie Henrys. Yes? 
You've been worked from the back, so they are Brexit. It was surrender. We surrendered our place at the big table of the world's top trading bloc. I'm Irish, but my mother's grandparents are English. Excellent mix. There we are. I moved about as a child in a bed. Listen, my great friend, who was a senior army officer, came back from India in a drawer. Ha 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 From an old chest of drawers. Dig you do, guys. Where are you from? We're from the universe. Fantastic. Right. Uh, what do we got here? Hold on. Have you ever seen the Loch Ness Monster? Uh, not personally, but she will be there. There's Nikki. Dinky do, Nikki. Good morning, Scotty boy. Scotty, who's your favorite still game character? I love them all. I love them all. Winston's quite funny. <laughs> He's not a great electrician, though. <laughs> I have to say. <laughs> Keep on blocking the haters. Take no prisoners. Oh, no, we don't. I've just spammed your account with likes. No, thank you so much. Thank you for the Red Rose, Chicago. Morning from Airdrie, Scotty boy. Morning, Airdrie. We love you. Always remember to jump off at the cross. Enjoy the rose hint. Thank you for my beautiful trophy. There we are. Fantastic. There's Charles. Dink you do. I recently lost my father. How do you deal with grief? Inappropriate? You think of the wonderful times that you had together. And there will be many. You think of the fact that you knew him when many people do not. You think of the fact that he knew you. Don't grudge him his passing because we earn our passage in life. So don't grudge him his passing. I and the, the, the universe watching right now send you love and blessings. Yes, and bless your father and think of all the amazing things he did with his time on earth. And he's only in the next room. He's only in the next room. He's with you all the time in your heart and in your mind. Yeah? So there we are. You can't bring him back, but you can celebrate his life. Yeah? So there we are. That's, that's what I would say to you. From this place comes true worth. Hink vira virtus, London Live. From this, these gates comes true virtue. Indeed, I'm a Ferguson, Campbell. Fergusons are excellent. I knew your clan chief. Wonderful stuff. And the Campbell clan chief. Yes, indeed. Now, who have we got here? I attended the funeral of the last Campbell clan chief in Inverera in Scotland. Do you like lesbians? Well, I mean, I may have lesbian tendencies if you know what I mean. So there we are. We like everyone on here. We judge nobody by their background, their color, their race, their creed, their religion, their sexual orientation. We don't judge anyone on here. So everyone is welcome. I think the viaduct's on the route all right by train or by car. The views are fantastic. Yes, I'd love to go to Glen Finnan because that's where Bonnie Prince Charlie raised his standard. Absolutely. Now, who have we got here? Where are you from? Uh, what's a Henry? A Hooray Henry is somebody that's in with very, very rich people who managed to, to wangle, wangle Brexit so that rich people didn't have to pay tax and the rest of the people of the UK were what from the back. Inappropriate's just sent me red roses. Inappropriate, thank you so much for your red roses. Very appropriate. Indiref 2, I think that's a byproduct of Brexit, is Indiref 2, you're right. You give my mate Jeff a shout out. So there we are. He recently came out as a miniature cupcake meek. Wow. He, he will be popular, I'll tell you. People will be going around saying, he's lovely. You could just eat him. There we are. A recent, oh yes, we've dealt with that one, haven't we? Yes, that's right. You're not sweating today. No, 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 no. I was only sweating because I'd come in to do the live from working very, very hard in the garden. 
Guys, has everybody followed us on here? Inappropriate sending me pandas. How gorgeous is that? Morning, Indiana Jones. Good morning. Oh, it's dangerous here. Fantastic. Uh, you monstrous gentlemen, you MMC, of course. What do you think of the EU? Well, you see, never, ever, ever, ever think badly of the EU because it's our EU. It's Britain's EU. The UK built the EU over 50 years and benefited massively. See, Britain was bust after the Second World War. So they begged and begged and begged to join the common market, the single market. And they were told, no, by General Charles de Gaulle. He said, no, 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 no roast beef, no British, no, no, no. So that was that. Anyway, eventually we managed to bring them around to it and get in and then built it and built it and built it. And we were very, very economically successful. It's cost us 200 billion pounds to come out of Europe with nothing to show for it. We could have stayed in for free for another 50 years and benefited in terms of infrastructure. Winston Churchill's dearest wish was to have a united Europe with a, a single army and a single commander. That was his wish in 1946, with the UK at its heart. And now we've blown it. Winston Churchill, that's it. They've, they've dumped on him. Yes, indeed. Shocking. A good route to Glasgow to Auburn's Fort William to Inverness to Edinburgh. I know it very well, William. I very often travel from uh, Elgin over to Fort William. <clears throat> so there you go. Fantastic. I'm polytheistic. Yes, I'm polymathic. What do you think of the Redcoats taxing our tea? Oh, over at the Boston Tea Party. Shocking. So there we are. Yes, indeed. Tea's still expensive. I love you. I thank you, psychedelic. The voice. Thank you, psychedelic. I'm obsessed. Thank you, psychedelic. I love you, OMG, says Mac. This geezer is proper. I'm proper geezer. Proper geezer, I say. <laughs> now then, uh, what do we get? Psychedelic sunshine, you're so pretty, hollyhock. <laughs> Up the Royal Artillery, says Mole. Mole, dinky do, yes indeed. Uh, Mole's obviously a British Army man. Up the Royal Artillery. Up the R.A. Good morning. Have a blessed Sunday, everyone. Yes, indeed. Inappropriate. Thank you. Good night, lad. I'm going to bed. Night, night, Ireland. Take you do. Night, night, everybody. Hello, blue eyes from the Philippines. We love you in the Philippines. Time I wasn't here, guys. Have a gorgeous, gorgeous day. What were you doing in the garden? Um, I was sorting the garden out because we've had very poor weather and I was uh, mowing the lawns. I want to send you stuff, King. I love you. Thank you so much, Psychedelic. You should take a random book behind you and read it to us. I might do that sometime. There we go. Fantastic. When Slovenia joined the EU, its national debt began to increase severely. The EU's national debt or Slovenia's. My great granduncle was in the original IRA, the IRA of the War of Independence, going right back to Patrick Pierce. Yes, although he had his faults, and we still don't know who shot Michael Collins. Mm. So there's your homework, guys. Scotty, what do you think about the Israeli Palestine War? It breaks my heart. Two countries full of beautiful, beautiful people, human beings, brothers, children of Abraham, brothers and sisters, stop lobbing ordnance at each other. You know, you're putting off the tourists now, and you're killing innocent people. Uh, do you support BLM? Well, we don't need to because we're all black originally, and um, we support ourselves. And um, on here, we're all inclusive. So nobody needs to justify themselves. Read us a random book. Good morning, says the wonderful Kareem in Glasgow. Good morning, Kareem. Uh, so there we are. There's sandals in the supermarket this morning. I best get down there. I would suggest that you buy these uh, sandals by the wonderful French designer. What's his name again? 
Philippe Flop. That's it. Yes, Philippe Flops. So get them. Read the Bible, man. Yes, and there were in that same country shepherds abiding in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for unto you this day is born in the city of David a child, and his name shall be Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty Father, the Prince of Peace. That's my message to Israel and to Palestine. For man was born in Palestine and lives today in bread and wine. Oh, that's a good way to finish, guys. Thank you for the education. Good night from Edmonton and Alberta in Canada. I had family in Calgary. Bless you. We love you. You know your Irish history. Yes, I have to. My family are Irish. Great uncle was hanged as a member of the IRA, supposedly. You should take a random book behind you, read it. Yes, I do. Guys, I'm going to dash off. No hate, just curious. Never hate on here, only love. Only love and only peace and only joy. I'm going to say good morning to you guys. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Thanks very much for watching. Stay lovely. Stay fabulous. Stay safe. Stay you. It's a great thing to be. And from me, Scotty McClue, to every single one of you, dinky-doo, I'll sing you the goodbye song. Good night from Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. Regards from Lithuania. Yes, indeed. What a party it was. Thank you very much for joining us. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zain au revoir and a cheery o. Follow me, guys. Share all the TikTok videos. And uh, if you're feeling generous, pop five bucks in the paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClure. You're awesome. I thank you. So are you. Calgary was rated fifth most livable city in the world. The unemployment is so high here. We love you, Cal Calgary. We love you, universe. Dinky-doo. Taralas. <laughs>